again. Do you know what that means? It definitely means that it is yet another opportunity for me to put you up to speed on what has been happening in the land of your favorite celebs. But first, even before we start, is it just me or are you getting some sort of formal when you go to your social media pages and realize that almost every single person you know is either Masai Mara enjoying the wild beast migration or in Lamu? So the next time you're busy shouting how we do not have money, please rephrase the statement and speak on your behalf because there are definitely some people who cannot relate they are here living their best life but i'm not about to make you feel so bad about your financial situation let's get down into what has been happening in the land of our celebrities my name is violet again and this is jalango tv now, for the longest time, I always thought to myself that Kagwe Mungai is one of the most unproblematic artists we have from right here in Kenya. But yo, the fella decided to prove me wrong when he took to social media to attack every single person who's ever said anything mean about him or his music. He went so low to even dragging moms into his insult. Take a look at what went down. My name is Kagwe Mungai and I am going to read out some mean tweets that have been written about me. I didn't I didn't think that people had mean things to say about me. I'm at Kinwa Wamagoni. Niggas who listen to Kagumunga and your hormone during sex. <laughs> wow, Kinwa. Oh to silent mission maybe. Yuck. It's gonna mourn before but uh, I'm coming to them and if I'm a Marco, can you show me more join it then at Andy Minor underscore. Kagomongai makes music for niggas when you put your bangus and you them after Kunyora. I see you relate. After Kunyora's, Kunyora said, What do you want? Like, this is the thing guys do. Actually, Siji Panguzi, Kunadema Nakama, and Panguza Ivy too. And I found my Marco. I don't know about you, but if anyone ever drags my mom into any sort of mess, it's going to be a redo of World War III. And by the way, did you know that Kagwe Mungai is actually related to Mutahi Kagwe? You're wondering which Mutahi Kagwe I'm talking about? I am talking about the man behind the famous phrase. If we continue to treat this disease normally, it will treat us abnormally. Now, you got to love yourself a bit of Mutahi Kagwe. Now, this fire in the hip-hop industry, fire as hot as the one that Moses saw during the burning bush. Now, this beef is between two hip-hop heavyweights. I'm talking about the OG Calligraph Jones and number nine baby Octopi IWZL. Now, this beef started when Calligraph Jones accused Octopizo of buying views on YouTube after his recent video had declining number of views. Of course, Octopizo being the man that he is, he did not take this lightly and went ahead to attack Calligraph Jones. He even went as low as telling him that ever since he settled down with the fair skin lady he has been pretty confused so many artists also took to social media to attack octopizo the likes of naughty flow kwk force and this has been a big beef going on to be honest i just want to see a collaboration between octopizo and calligraph jones i am sick and tired of this beef and by the way i don't even take beef i do chicken white meat only 2020 has most definitely been one of the most crazy years we've had in a minute. One of the most tragic things that happened this year is of course the passing of Kobe Bryant, a basketball legend and inspiration on and off the court. Now this week Kobe Bryant would have turned 42 years old. So many people took to social media to wish him a happy birthday in heaven, including his family, his children and fans from all across the world. Now this comes as a reminder that life is short, you need to most definitely live your best life. Happy birthday to Kobe brands in heaven and like jay-z once said true kings don't die they multiply peace so calligraph jones is not just out here beefing with octopizo he is also being a spokesperson to the head of state now this is what he did he took to social media to talk to a president his excellency uru Mugai kenyatta asking him to please open the bars and the clubs for us because the young people are suffering they need to get back to work he also addressed raila odinga jr who in turn should speak to his father honorable raila odinga who we also hope is going to pass the message to our president so that we are able to go back to the clubs and the restaurants again. Now, we don't know if this message is gonna go home, but we hope it does, but I'm pretty sure Watuwa Milan, Sunday Branch, Watuwa K1 Live Band, Nawala was Sunday School Pali 1824, really can relate to this message. Again, the boys did not disappoint. I'm pretty sure you're wondering which boys I'm talking about. I am talking about South Soul, who this first weekend put up a midnight train virtual experience concert. And as usual, it was one for the books. With over 30,000 live viewers, this is definitely one of the most watched premieres from a local artist. We congratulate them and they looked super amazing thanks to Brian Babu, their stylist, who made sure they showed up and showed off. Good job, South Soul. We stun and we love to see. What's your favorite? 
song in Midnight Train, mine definitely has to be Nenda Lote. Love it. Now, that's the story on what some of your favorite celebs have been out here doing, but we are not done yet. We have so much in store for you, and we have an amazing guest. You don't want to miss out on this one. This is Jalango TV Extra. Just stay right there. we got so much more. Promised you we have so much in store for you, and like I promised you, we'll be having a panel. And today I'm joined by the beautiful media personality, a TV presenter, a radio presenter, a social media sensation, a trendsetter, a fine babe. She's literally everything. Hi, Kamina Ah! <laughs> I swear, I've never been called a sensation in my life. But you are! Ah! Who are these people that you're hanging with? Jalango. You can't tell our babe that she is. Guy, Sawa, humbly put, how are you, babe? I'm great. Ah! Thank you so much for coming through. Anytime, for you, we'll do the thing. I like this dress, the color, it's so cute. It's called Mauve. Jay-Z taught us that it's not pink anymore. <laughs> that's some rich people speak that's some rich people color you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway so now we're going to be talking about some of the things that happened and blew up on the internet and we are just going to be chatting it with a beautiful Kamina girl story number one besides coronavirus and corruption there's a new pandemic will i yes which one mike oliver Well, Mike Oliver is a white guy that apparently in less than three months he's heard over 40 girls and apparently he's HIV positive and they just don't have protected sex at all. So we just want to know what is the state of Nairobi is a big bedroom. Is that thing a joke or should we now get serious and address this issue and also do we need to start lessons on just how serious we can be with ourselves because this is not funny at all. Can I tell you something? May I just want to know who Mike Oliver's neighbor is. But they, I know this guy lives next door to somebody. Somebody! Do you know? Are we about to shame somebody? Please! <laughs> if you're his neighbor, no, but please, enter to Komlango, just hold it and just tell this guy, stop it. You know, I saw like the first season of stuff he released and it was awesome. Really nice, young, painting chicks, yeah? He has a type. Then he released season two. Eh, season two was, was it the complete opposite of season one? Or what went down? It was moms. <laughs> and I'm like, there was one I watched, I was like, no, don't do it, babe. Guy, Michael, wherever you are, Mike please, Oliver. just, just stop it. You get, Kenya is not that country. And you know, there's a saying, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. scorned. Bruh, no go play with an angry Kenyan woman. What? Now, from your position, Kamini, mean, there's so many girls who look up to you and they follow your steps. What oh. advice do you have for women? Because this is quite the pandemic. Why do you have to feel the need to give yourself to such a man who doesn't have good intentions for you? So what can you advise young girls growing up in the times we live in? It's a story I've told very many times. Growing up, our moms put us in really cute dresses and, you know, Cute shoes, you know, they really used to dress us up, you know, and we were always told be a lady. Yeah, you're a lady. You're the princess. You're the Yeni, our moms really gassed us up. And then somewhere within that growth transition, I think we forgot that you're supposed to be a lady. What I always say right now is imagine just be a lady. It's not particularly about what you do. It's how you do it. Okay. You can't be on your phone taking off your clothes. No nigga is worth it. No guy is worth it. Okay. All right? People should not have your receipts. Why are you guys taking money from men? As in, babes, can we remember, Yanni, when our mothers loved us. Hey, you guys, my mom pendered me. Okay. Pendered me. Shout out to the moms. You know, Miss Vicky is the thing. <laughs> so just, can we just go back to what our mothers were raising us to be? Be a lady. Why are we shouting? How can you be chumoying your clothes on the phone? As in, let's take a step back. All right. Yeah. You are a flower. Treat yourself like one. Please. All right. Moving on swiftly. Now, Maureen Waititu, one of the most amazing ladies that we have in this beautiful land of Kenya. Look at Kenya has fine babes. Hello. Maureen Waititu is a thing. <laughs> 
I'm talking about her and Marina Titu and all those people going on. Now, she recently was enjoying her vacation on the coast with her kids. Yeah. And people on social media decided that when you're a mom, you're not supposed to wear a bikini. And I do not know who told you that. So I want to know, is it wrong if I'm a mom and I have a son? Is it wrong for me to wear a bikini when we are having fun at the beach? What's what up? is the problem? Do you think people on Twitter were mad for no reason? Or do you think they're justified to be mad? I'm just wondering, like, how many shareholders are we in this our body of mine? You know? How many are we? So it's Maureen's body <laughs> that she babas and dresses and feeds and every takes day. Care of. How many shareholders are we? And what is your contribution to her body, her family, her kids? I saw they did the same thing to Betty. Oh yeah, they dressed Betty up. They yeah. gave her even a handbag at the beach. Number two tough ten <laughs> Guys, we need to start working, please. <laughs> Let's start working. We what have so much that? time in our hands. Too much, too much, too right? much, too much. So yes. Yeah. If you're a shareholder in that body sour on own, yeah. Like if you're not I think it's also the pretense because when Kim Kardashian does the same thing with the whole clan of the children, no one is throwing stones. We actually say, God damn, she looks good. But when it's Maureen Waititu, then we have issues like, girl, what's your problem, boy? Who hurt you? Corona me fanya watu wa fiat. Now, not all men are bad. Not all men are throwing stones on Twitter. Now, there's a lady who fell sick. Mm -hmm. All right, she was not feeling well. Mm -hmm. So she calls the babe and tells babe, babe, I'm not feeling well today. So babe decides to go buy her babe some gifts. You know, my babe is not feeling well. Wow. So let me get my babe a gift. Wow. Ebu, you guess what gift that could be? What? You just guess a gift that your babe could get you when you're not feeling well. So I was sick like Think about... As a, a Kenyan man, something, whatever. I felt sick like about like a week ago and I didn't go to work and then Jalango like posted it. So everyone thought I was dying. Guys, I'm quite all right, right? And the gift I got coming to my house. Coming, I wasn't even in the house. Yani coming to the house. Ilikuwa matunda, maua, juice, you know, honey. So I assume if someone says they're sick, that's the kind of gift that you know you'd send someone you care about. All right. So there's this amazing couple. The wife was not feeling well, and the babe decided to just drop a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> To the babe and be like this is just because wait, my babe is not feeling okay wait, wait wait who bought who the benz the guy bought the wife a benz because the babe was not feeling okay so this is the gift from a guy wife right that's what see what other men are doing <laughs> i was like what is the name of this guy can i drop him a dm and tell him i have pneumonia now even if i don't have it buddha i'm feeling covid <laughs> i'm feeling temperature in my panda i have some congestion <laughs> Oh yeah, God. that is what some my of the people are, are doing. Hurting, babe. And I'm going to put you on the spot. What is one of the most romantic things a guy has ever done to you in your 28 years of living? Hey. One of the most. It doesn't have to be the one, but one of the most. So, this was, um, this was actually now like the ex-husband I keep on talking about. It was around my birthday. And long story short, he like went and hired a whole island for just me and him. Oh, did you leave him? He's single now. Can I have him? Look at you and your ratchet <laughs> self. Ini nini fasa. What is he? <laughs> I it take my words. One of the because I didn't know. So he told me we were going this way. So he said we're going to Dar es Salaam. And then we get to Dar es Salaam, and all of a sudden we're chilling there for like a whole day. And I'm like, um. Bro, Wagwan. <laughs> and then we went to, I think it was, there was another island we flew to on a small plane and then got onto a boat for a whole hour. And it's this really beautiful island. It's called Thunder. Thunder Island. It's really small, right in the middle of somewhere in Tanzania. A whole weekend. It was the most amazing thing. You guys, the chef comes and asks you, so what would you guys like to have for dinner? I'm like, boss, hello. <laughs> what? The oysters you eat, they are shucked like right from the reef over there. Yeah. So yes. At least there's more evidence that romantic men still exist. Ah, you guys, I was like four years ago. I don't know what happened. In uh, no, as in, at least for <laughs> our guy here who bought a Benz. Hey. Yeah. Now, finally, with the current state of the nation, we just want to know how you feel about this whole bars being closed, restaurants, clubs. What's your take? What do you think the country is taking? And what do you think is the best direction that we could take? If you was in a position of power to make changes, what would you change? Well, I'm happy that at least he's allowed the hotels to 
sell alcohol. Because I've really been doing a lot of traveling and it gets pretty frustrating. Yeah, this girl is never around every weekend. You just check her Instagram. It's like, she's always far and gone. Me, I don't know. This girl, she's... I hope you're not telling anyone anywhere. Okay, to make her to Salo, we're really struggling because she's lying. She good. Moving on swiftly. What? No, this what? girl is good. This girl is... I can tell you everywhere she's gone. She's been to Masamara. She's been to Diani Studio Apartments. She's been everywhere. I am trying. I am trying. No, you're not trying. Yeah, we're called single You're babes. doing it very well. Ah! <laughs> uh -huh. So, um, like I remember when Costo and we're at White Sands, White Sands was amazing. But you know, they could only do so much within the parameters of what's been allowed. So I'm happy that at least the hotels have been given some leeway because I also think that it's also going to get Kenyans traveling a bit more. Right. You know? Sasa utakuwa hapa Nairobi, weekend what, form nigani, you cannot buy booze anywhere but you get a really great weekend away so i'm hoping it will help tourism of course i'm not happy about the bars and the restaurants because i have so many friends you know, like i have one pal he has a really dope club and he has to sell it because corona has been that bad yeah and he used to employ up to 600 people you know so i don't know mother Jaden, you have a lot of work on your hands <laughs> yes, you do. You have a lot of work on your hands. Me, I'm just praying that God's grace be sufficient for you. Yeah, he needs grace for God. Yeah, John the Baptist, Moses, everyone. Dude, in the Bible. please, just so whatever you are, yani, just touch so your screen right corner. now and mm. pray for Jaden. So many, Mungu, yani, Jaden. <laughs> We wish you all the best because you have tough decisions to make between lives Lord. and livelihoods. But That's you know, we crazy. realized he has like a color scheme when he's coming with good news. He wears like brown, brown things. Oh, does he? His what? colors are a bit more like neutral. Why are you neutral. checking him out so much? I, babe, I uh, check out. Girl, her. what's going on with you? But she even knows what. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have to get me into trouble no, now. No, 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 not at all. I love Kamene right here at Jalango TV. We love Kamene. She's a fine babe. Thank you so much for coming through. Anytime. Guys, that's all we have for you. And also, feel free to drop my daddy a happy birthday. It's my dad's birthday and I love my dad so much. Oh, wow. Guy, I had daddy. I was like, huh? Not daddy. <laughs> daddy. My father. My dad, I was like, oh. Yeah. Like, oh, like my, my daddy. <laughs> not daddy. Like da father. My father. Okay, no. Okay, you guys have corrupted the word Baba daddy. Dina, happy yeah. birthday. Yay. Let me tell you, you brought a dope, dope chick into this world. Please repeat that. I don't think it She's knows. so dope. <laughs> She'll translate yeah. for you. Yeah, I think my mom will translate because I know she's the one who's going to watch. Anyway, happy birthday, Dad. I'll love you from here to the end of the world. Till forever <laughs> in the day. Daddy! Bye, guys. That's all we had for you. See you later in the week. Ciao. <laughs>